My first interview with a patient is not about his disease or about, about his problem, but more about the human being I have in front of me. Um, what are their uh, fears? What are their expectations? What are they going through? Um, and I really try to make a connection. I want to make the most of the time that I do spend with the patients, talking to them, explaining the plan for them. It's really important that we have a plan for the patient every day, even when things are not going too well. So the patient has hope that things will improve for them. Before I walk into each room, I take just a moment to clear my mind of anything else and remind myself that when I walk in that exam room, when I go to visit that family, that this family is expecting and this family deserves nothing less than my full focus and my best effort. The patient's part of the team and you know we work with uh, them and their families to you know, set those ex expectations, communicate with them, um, and try to uh, you know, involve them in the medical decision making. Without them, you know, we wouldn't be there, so we need to include them and, and really uh, allow them to you know, help us help them. The worst thing for parents is to have a sick child, and so we want to make sure that the children feel secure when they come to the doctor for their visit, and that the parents feel that they're being listened to. And so that's very important to us, and I think it makes a big difference in how successful we are in that relationship as their doctor. Bedside manner is uh, critically important to me because I think it's sort of the underpinning of the whole relationship with a patient and their family. You know, it's the way we establish trust. It's the way we um, convince people that we have their best interests in mind. Uh, you know, it's sort of the melding of kindness and compassion, um, but also professionalism uh, that really is the essence of being a physician. I was honored to be selected as a Best Bedside Manner um, awardee, you know, it was something that we strive to do every day, no matter what patient shows up, to communicate with them, incorporate them, incorporate them into part of our team, and, um, you know, it's about taking the extra step to talk to the family, talk to the patient, and you know, set those expectations, and really involve them in the care. Medicine, you know, is a science, but it's also an art, because it's a conversation between two human beings, two individuals, so I feel honored that um, I was recognized for this. All of our achievements are made standing on the shoulder of other achievements that other people made. So hopefully it's something that people that I am around with can uh, learn from me and I continue to learn. It's hard work all your life studying, going through school, anxiety, and then, and then having an award based on your skill to connect with people, not on your hard work on studying, is, is something that's incredible, I think. I feel like I put a tremendous amount of effort into how I talk to people and how I interact with my patients. I always wonder if it matters, and I always wonder if, am I, am I doing the right thing? Am I approaching it the right way? So to be recognized at all, it is validation, and it only strengthens my commitment to, to keep doing it and, and to pass it on to those people that we train. We just both believe that we were put here on earth to leave the place a little better than we found it. And this is how we found a way to do it.